Well, Joyce, according to the Renton Police Department, as well as the King County Sheriff's Office, they will not definitively say whether these two robberies are connected, though they acknowledge the similarities here. Both agencies are still looking for those responsible this evening. Just off I-405 in Renton, Bigfoot Java is open 24 hours. You know, vehicles are coming up that would have looked no different to you than anything else. Staffed with three baristas Monday night, a masked man pulled up in a Hyundai. Another person on foot came up and pulled their, their firearm on them and wanted their money. Renton police says that's when the driver also pulled out a gun. The pair stole $100 from the till and ran. No one was injured, uh, no shots were fired. Uh, but it was a robbery with a firearm. 30 minutes later, at 1045, another Bigfoot Java was robbed off I-5 in SeaTac. The King County Sheriff's Office says two men in a Hyundai SUV reportedly robbed the stand and shots were fired outside, though no one was injured. It seems like after their robbery that the vehicle took off, but it was abandoned in a roadway, and so they recovered that vehicle. Uh, so the description matches ours. With K-9 teams, the King County Sheriff's Office found and booked a suspect into the youth detention center. Deputies are looking for the second suspect, and at this point, neither agency has officially connected the two robberies. We have not met with them or uh, worked the case together today to know if those are related um, or not yet. Renton Police says the baristas did everything right. We would encourage people not to have a singular employee working alone just for safety reasons. So I was glad to hear that they had multiple employees because that's what we would recommend. Suggesting that if a worker is alone at night to have a secure place to go, panic button or telephone available to call police. That would be traumatizing for anybody. So uh, we hope we always encourage employers to work with them. Sometimes that trauma doesn't come for months later. And I reached out to the owner of Bigfoot Java. She recently got back to me saying that they follow the protocols of labor and industries as well as our local police departments and that every employee goes through a safety training to be able to identify criminals and de-escalation practices. Live here in Renton, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.